The retirement of Justice Davis means there will be a second Supreme Court election this November because Justice Menace Ketchum, of course, as we mentioned, resigning last month. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle were quick to react to today's surprise announcement. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. The will of the people of West Virginia is being denied. And with that, Justice Robin Davis announced her retirement from the West Virginia Supreme Court. She was one of four justices impeached by the House of Delegates Monday. A lot of the reasons focused on lavish spending on renovations and decorations to court offices. Democrats are satisfied with Justice Davis retiring Tuesday, so candidates can still make the filing deadline on the ballot to fill her vacancy. You know, I think she did the noble thing in, in allowing the, the people of West Virginia, allowing the voters to choose her replacement rather than uh, Governor Justice. Within the Supreme Court itself. But many Republicans pushed to have all the remaining justices the impeached and removed from office, especially over their multi-million dollar remodeling. Well, the average citizen in West Virginia is just appalled because uh, any individual office, they spent more than what the average home uh, sells for in the state of West Virginia. And what we need to do is restore faith in the Supreme Court with the people of the state of West Virginia. You have no comment. Thank you. Justice Alan Lawfrey remains suspended and indicted on federal charges. He, Chief Justice Margaret Workman, and Justice Beth Walker now head to the Senate for an impeachment trial. Some think a public reprimand would be better than removing Workman and Walker from the court. Well, I, I believe they should be censured. I think every West Virginian believes that the conduct was outrageous, the spending was outrageous, and they can't relate to it, and it goes beyond the scope of the office they hold. Every elected official has to be uh, a steward of taxpayer money. Chief Justice Workman issued a statement late Tuesday saying she will not resign. A lot of paperwork still needs to be done before the articles of impeachment can move from the House down the hall to the Senate. And because of that, no trial date has been set. At the State Capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News working for you. Well, today, Senate President Mitch Carmichael says the impeachment trial would likely begin sometime in mid-September.